Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the talk show. And this afternoon, we have guest, a special guest, uh, Mr. Ankushna Jawan, co-founder of TBO Group. And we are not going to spare him this time. We're going to volley, shower him volley of questions with regard to the achievements he has done over the past one year. The TBO Group has really uh, uh, done a huge uh, market share, capturing everything into this uh, uh, market uh, into this travel industry and it has been a great po uh, platform. Uh, Ankush, welcome to the talk show. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, first thing first, how you are so successful, how TBO Group is so successful in launching all the platforms, all the verticals, whether it is NDC program, what you have done up now, or you have WTTC achievement, achieving this, how you do this? So I, don't, I don't think uh, it's just me who's done it. I think I have a great army of people, a great team. Uh, you know, I think we are fortunate and blessed, you know, that we are these successful people who have built this company with passion over the last 12 years. Uh, so I don't think it's just me. I think it's the people who have actually made this company and brand. Obviously, there is vision and mission of the company, which everybody follows, and there's a philosophy which we all have. And I'm glad we have succeeded in the last uh, 14 years of building TBO where it is today. And as an achievement, like you mentioned, uh, TV was is the first company in India who has the WTTC membership, uh, you know, and we just uh, attended our first show last week, uh, last month in, um, in uh, Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, first point to be noticed, and uh, we can really congratulate uh, TBO Group, and especially uh, the team who has really ventured for the WTTC, the only company, he says. Uh, and this is a very good uh, concept when we, when we say that it is the only company in India to be under the WTTC platform, uh, and TBO Group has done it once again. The second point, uh, which I think we come straight uh, before we take uh, talk to you about the market share is the NDC, uh, which is basically the new distribution capability platform, uh, which has, this is the only group perhaps they have launched it. Is it right? Uh, we were the first ones to go live in India. And I must say that NDC, in my opinion, will be a game changer as we move forward. Our TBO always believes in innovating and adapting technology at the first. And I'm very glad as a first mover, uh, we will get the NDC fares today, what we have on our system. Our travel partners across India can actually you know, leverage the lowest fare available on the Lufthansa family. Uh, we will give you availability of classes, which is not available on a GDS. There's a group booking tool. And I'm sure going forward, you know, we will be obviously integrating um, Singapore Airlines, British Airways and Oman Air over the next few weeks. Uh Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my viewers uh, uh, from all across the world, uh, let's try to understand uh, from Mr. Ankush Dejhawan uh, the concept about uh, what is NDC all about. I believe as a layman that it is uh, basically a travel industry supported program, yes. so, right? Yeah. Which is launched for the development and market adaptation. Absolutely. Is it right? Uh, of a new XML, it's a technological word, but I think everybody would understand that whosoever is computer savvy and the technology savvy, it's an XML based data transmission standard. Is it right? So basically, in layman lines, I can explain you, it is a direct connectivity with the airline inventory, whether you call it an XML slash API. The fact is today that TBO software is talking directly with the Lufthansa software and picking the inventory from there. So I think that's the easiest way for me to explain to the market. Fabulous. So NDC standards enhances the capability of communications between the airline and the travel agent, so Absolutely. to speak. Absolutely. With the better pricing, with the better availability of classes, which are not probably available today on the GTS. Uh, uh, friends, we are talking to Mr. Ankush Dejawan, co-founder of TBO Group. Uh, we, we, we say that TBO platform has over 47,000 travel agents yes. across more than 100 countries. Yes. And TBO Academy, would you like to highlight something about uh, TBO Academy, which is an uh, innovative learning platform? Tell us something about that. So something which we launched uh, early this year, and I, I mean early, I would say mid-2018, uh, and I'm very proud, uh, almost 10,000 agents actually go on the Academy, you know, and to teach their staff and their frontline bookers. So basically, in a nutshell, what TBO Academy is, is an encyclopedia of a given destination, where we have these online courses, in actual a virtual course which somebody can compete and get certified, for example, destination Singapore, it might be a great hotel in Kapensky, let's say in St. Maurice. We actually give you that 360 degrees um, showcase of the product. We also give you a kind of a quiz 
or an exam which a booker has to qualify to get it certified but definitely it enables the front line booking to serve the customer better which i'm sure will help a lot of uh, travel companies across india to uh, service their customer better governance is the key role and you say that your staff is quite supportive in all your platforms uh, how is it that how big is your staffing so we employ approximately 1100 people across the world the majority 600 would sit in india the balance 500 are overseas uh, so we have actually broken the world into six parts one is the americas which is south in uh, north america and our commercial director sits out of miami uh, europe is a big uh, market for us as well which is growing uh, steadily our commercial director sits in holland then our middle east and africa market is with our commercial director based out of egypt and then india is treated as india and then asia pacific which is based out of singapore and then our commercial director for australia sits out of sydney so for us it is a mark today i can say we are a global company very proud that is born from our city in delhi we employ almost 30 nationalities we work in almost nine languages uh, but i think dominance is something as you rightly said is something that we have personally got both me and gorov have actually you know bought this culture in the company because i think to run a large setup you need that discipline you need those processes you need those compliances and slash governance so we have many sorts of auditors in our company our big fours so whether it is internal auditing whether it is external auditing whether it is gst or indirect taxes whatever it might be we are audited by the big four and something which personally is is something which i make sure that we are disciplined and you know and in so many markets today it's impossible for us you know if you are not uh, believing into processes and and governance well i have really uh, visited your office uh, mr ankush rajawan really it's uh, it's a it's a great platform it's a great organization it's a great a great uh, uh, you know uh, uh, space where that lots of people work i think 24 hours you have got uh, the academy which is really making uh, 24 hours is the call center call program. centers which is really working well yeah and it's something which is uh, uh, which is enhancing the tbo's market share tell us something about your market share so i think all the amazing effort which my team and my soldiers as i call themselves into across india and across the world to grow and i must say that in the last one year i think tbo has significantly gained a lot of market share you know in the airline and the hotel business uh, we grew at almost 45% which where the market actually did not grow at, as quickly on the domestic side we grew at 21% on the international air and hotels we have we grew by 100% and when i see these percentages they are actually on a big base not on a small base so i'm very very proud to wave your progress in the last financial year and i must say my q1 2019 has been outstanding the only challenge what we face is obviously the the grounding of a jet uh, you know which everybody in the industry is having this challenge at the moment you took my words in fact i was wanting to ask you the key uh, challenge which is uh, jet airways going off air india struggling fares going high and this is going to be more competitive world wherein uh, i think the 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 introduction of the ndc uh, will perhaps uh, give a breather to lots of people lots of bookers lots of uh, travel agents a breathing space uh, how do you how how you did you conceptualize this uh, ndc uh, uh, platform Edu- educating a market educating my own people because you know people don't like changes Most Thanks Gracia for watching this you have any questions from Ankush you can really ask him he is sitting right in front of you and you can ask uh, uh, Ankush we have Gracia Del Valle Gomez Antonio watching you live and we have Vishal Yadav Yogita Sharma and lot of other people watching you thank you i wonder so ndc is something which we are firstly you know adopting our own team because at the end of the day people don't like challenges is you know and this is something which is different so first we have to educate our own uh, colleagues you know across india uh, but some agencies that you know asking very intelligent questions and i'm sure three months down the line ndc will become a routine for them uh, transacting a tvo uh, we have uh, seen other platforms also other organizations but you are the first what made you think about this i think tech is something which is is something we always like to be off about the curve there are 225 engineers who build technology for tvo and and this is something which will always try that we are the first movers when it comes to adopting technology in the travel space always first come first so uh, that's good to answer one last question what do you see the future of tbo and going beyond from mid 2019 to grow i mean that's a simple mantra you know and work transparently with ethics be very very honest to your suppliers to your stakeholders to your partners and our travel partners across india and the world uh, i think we are in a very good position 
2019 and 20 would be a better year than I would believe in 2018, 2019. The elections are over, the government is stable. Uh, just get your basic mantras, which I believe is to service your travel agents in the best what you can with the right pricing, the right inventory, be always accessible and be humble and, and show that you deliver what you're supposed to deliver. Very well said, Ankush. Uh, this is the mantra. You have to be transparent, you have to be honest and you have to be go-getter. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this was Ankush Nejawan talking to us if live and exclusive. If you want to ask me any question before I sign off, you can email me at ankush at nejawangroup.com ankush at nejawangroup.com or ankush at travelboutiqueonline.com and I'll make sure that one of my colleagues answer all the FAQs you might have. Thank you very much for your time, really. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.